Hi, this is Leslie with Leslie Christine Photography. I just wanted to give you a quick little um, trick on how to size your images uh, quickly for the web. Um, so this is all done in Bridge, Adobe Bridge. Um, it makes it very quick and very easy. Um, first step we're going to do is, in this case, uh, select all of these images. So I just do Control A. Currently, these images are full resolution, um, the largest out of the camera that they will do. Apparently, there we go. Um, go up to Tools, Photoshop, Image Processor. And it brings up this uh, box. I always skip step one because I'm only ever going to process what I'm using in Bridge. Um, so that is an automatic. Step two is where to save them. In this case, I'm just saving them in the same location and then I'll move them to wherever I need to. But you can also save it to a specific folder anywhere on either your computer, Dropbox, an external hard drive, wherever you'd like to save them. Um, step three is your file type. Um, with this particular image processor, you can save JPEGs, you can save PSDs, you can save TIFFs. In this case, we're saving JPEGs. Um, you never want to go over quality of 10. The highest is 12. 10 is more than enough for the web. Um, some web gurus will say you can even go as small as 8. Um, I like to save it at 10 just to be on the safe side for some of these huge monitors that we have these days. Of course, with uh, everybody looking at stuff on mobile, even 10 can be overkill. But just to be on the safe side, 10 is more than enough. Um, resized fit. This is where you're going to actually pick what pixel size that you're going to do for each image um, on the longest. So for no matter whether your image is a landscape image or a portrait image, you're going to pick whatever length you want for both sides. So in this case, you want the width to be 20, 48, 20, 48 pixels or the height to be 20, 40 pixels, 20, 48 pixels. Now that's not going to make the image square. It's just going to take the longest side, no matter which side it is and make it 20, 48 and then change the other side to be proportionate. Um, the last step we're going to do is run an action to actually save down the size of the image from 300 dpi down to 150 um, or uh, 72, depending on what your action is. This particular action is from Paint the Moon Reverie series. Um, I love her actions. It is a um, particular action that sharpens the images and resizes them um, perfect for the web or Facebook. So that's usually the one that I choose. Of course, you can create your own action and upload it um, to pick whatever you want. This just happens to be already loaded into my system though, so that's what I'm going to use. So at this point in time, um, you got to make sure that this include ICC profile is clicked, which it is it is by default and once all of these are done then you just hit the run button and it will run this for all of your images and that is it